Abraham Maslow was a prominent psychologist working in the 50s and the 60s primarily, who is most well known for his wonderful pyramid of needs, his hierarchy of human development, and thankfully, we will not be talking about that in this video. I know the concept's easy to grasp, and it's wonderful to teach, and it's a really easy YouTube video to make, but there are 1001 videos on this topic online, and I want to take us back to the primary sources, specifically this primary source, Toward a Psychology of Being by Abraham Maslow, to reveal the secret lessons, or the lost lessons, or the hidden wisdom, which is on page 70 of this book. It's not secret at all but it's actually overlooked. It's the overlooked essence of what it means to be a self-actualizing human being and how we can actually orient ourselves at a higher level of cognitive, emotional, spiritual, and physical maturation in our day-to-day -day lives with a real practical, pragmatic sense of, oh, and this is not so mystical at all. It could be mystical. It could be transcendent. It could be post-rational and highly evolutionary and gifted in all the wonderful ways, but as we're going to find out in this episode of Inner Work Essentials, it's actually about values. We're going to look at the 14 values, moral judgments, moral ways of being, ethical signposts that we're aiming towards, which make us self-actualizing human beings. As I said before, Page 70 of this book, which unfortunately is a dreadful printing, it's, uh, it's rather ugly, it really doesn't do justice to just how much Abraham Maslow has to offer, I actually prefer the more old school 70s printings, this one is falling apart, I've taped it up together, that's his main book, you can see. Um, what I'm going to do is something first, a first for this series, I'm going to read this list with minimal explanation. What I want to try and inspire in you is a sense of heart-based, head-based, and some would even say soul-based comprehension of the concept or the energetics behind each of these values that I'm going to share with you. These are Abraham Maslow's B values, or his being values, and what he tries to do by presenting these 14 traits is indicate the pathway or the central guiding magnetic forces which characterize a self-actualizing individual. He says in the book that they are not mutually exclusive, they are not separate or distinct, but overlap and fuse with each other. Because of course, if you're at that higher level of integration, if you're at th that level of solving dualistic or polarized dichotomies and bringing it forwards as a sense of the union, you're not going to so clearly divide between the traits I'm about to share with you. But what I want to bring forwards, and hopefully you'll be receptive, I'll slow myself down and really get into the energy of these 14 values, is to encourage a trans-rational engagement with the energy behind the words. This is Wilbur's pre-trans fallacy in action. Ken Wilbur's a transpersonal psychologist, uh, well, some would say he's an integral psychologist, some would say that he's a philosopher. He's an important thinker, and he has this concept of pre-trans fallacy, because you've got the pre-rational, which is magical thinking and no cognitive faculty, but you've also got the trans-rational, which is a stage above everyday rationality. Some would say this is intuition or higher spiritual insight. And what I want to do in this moment right now is not engage your pre-rational understanding, a magical, potentially delusional way of regressing into these concepts, because that's not self-actualizing at all, that's actually regressing into a more infantile position. I want to engage your trans-rational comprehension to feel behind these words. I don't think it's very useful for me to lecture to you about what self-actualization is. It's an energetic feeling, and it's a moral obligation to live by these values which naturally emerge as the right things to do or the right way to be when we've cleared out the trauma from the past and we properly reach or move or progress 
towards where our higher self wants to guide us. So let's get into them. These are the B values of Abraham Maslow. Again, listen behind the words and see if you connect. Is this where you want to aim towards? Wholeness, perfection, completion, justice, aliveness, richness, simplicity, beauty, goodness, uniqueness, effortlessness, playfulness, truth, self-sufficiency. One more time. Wholeness, perfection, completion, justice, aliveness, richness, simplicity, beauty, goodness, uniqueness, effortlessness, playfulness, truth, self-sufficiency. A third time, and we're really going to feel it this time. Wholeness, perfection, completion, justice, aliveness, simplicity, richness, beauty, and goodness, uniqueness, effortlessness, playfulness, truth, and self-sufficiency. These are Abraham Maslow's being values. Repeating them for three rounds just there and allowing myself to engage in their energy, in that magnetizing, naturally magnetizing sense of that's about right. That's, that's what I want in my life. These are the values that I try and prioritize. These are the energetic waves that I want to ride most frequently. My state of being itself has shifted. My feeling of being in this present moment has shifted. And that's all self-actualization really is in an everyday sense. It's aligning ourselves to these values, to these energetic waves that we ride predominantly. Sure, we may temporarily regress in the service of transcendence. We regress to those lower levels as we clear out the shadows or unblock the traumas which hold us back or keep us stuck. But primarily, incrementally, year after year and decade after decade, if we follow that structure, if we follow that potential, that hope towards living these energetic states more frequently, we may be rather wonderful pensioners. We may have a rather graceful, light, intelligent, beautiful, mature 60s, 70s, 80s, and even death, a beautiful death. That's uh, quite a self-actualizing concept in itself. One more time. I'm not going to explain them for you. You already know what they are. And these are the lost lessons because very few people will take this approach to Maslow. They want to go for the more practical, immediate, easy to understand, on the nose, rational understanding. This is engaging the transrational part of your being right now. This is trying to connect with that sense of awareness which goes beyond words, connect with your intuition, and create an instantaneous shift, at least to some degree, in your physiology that receives how this is already within grasp. This is inside of you already. There might be a blockage or a few blockages in the way, but these values can emanate from you, and we can live from them. One more time, the lost lesson of Abraham Maslow is being values. Wholeness. Perfection. Completion. Justice. Aliveness. Richness. Simplicity. Beauty. Goodness. Uniqueness. Effortlessness. Playfulness. Truth. Self-sufficiency. <sighs> Very tasty. I like them a lot. I hope you feel on this too. And I thank you for joining me in this very strange and unconventional way of exploring Abraham Maslow. I highly recommend you read this book yourself.
I also highly recommend you read this book yourself, maybe get a, a copy that isn't falling apart, or if you like secondhand books, give an old book a new life and get that anyway. That's it. I'll join you over on the next video where we're going to look at an Italian psychologist who takes Abraham Maslow's down an even more esoteric Abraham Maslow's values. Whew. Grab myself back in. I'm going to see you in the next video where we're going to look at an Italian psychologist, Roberto Assayagoli, who has an even more esoteric understanding of this concept of self actualization in his theory of psychosynthesis and how transpersonal psychology could be the next right thing for you to live more of these 14 traits. I will see you over there, and I look forward to it.